Welcome again. In the 1960s, the bacterium Thermos aquaticus was discovered in the hot springs of Yellowstone Park. It was this discovery that would ultimately lead to the isolation of TAC DNA polymerase, which provided the basis for PCR polymerase chain reaction. And then it was PCR technology that enabled the sequencing of the human genome at the turn of the 21st century. Since that time, gene sequencing has become more widespread. And today, several databases are available to provide you with information about the gene sequences of various species. In today's lesson, we learn how to use one of these databases and how to apply this in the construction of cladograms. The COX-1 gene. It codes for the protein cytochrome C oxidase, which is found in the mitochondrion. In humans, the same gene is referred to as MTCO1. Today, we will be using a database to determine the differences in the base sequences of genes in not just two species, but in four organisms. And then we will go on to use this data to understand how cladograms can be constructed using these base sequences. And if you need to return to my lesson on cladograms, you can click here and then return to this lesson where we will place these four species at appropriate positions in this simple cladogram. The basis of our classification will be base sequences of the COX1 gene. The data that we collect on the differences in the sequences when we compare the various organisms as pairs would be placed into a table like this. And then using this data, we will return to complete our cladogram. Go to the NCBI website and select Gene. Type in the gene that you want, in this case, COX-1. Search. Here you see 8037 results, but the genes that we search for will all be found on the first page. Also open up online analysis tools. From DNA Sequence Analysis, select Alignments. Then select Align Query. This page will come up and you'll see these two boxes. Into each box you will paste the base sequence of the desired organism. Here we copy the base sequence of Homo sapiens neanderthalensis. You click Fast A, and the sequence appears. You copy and paste it into the appropriate box. Then you go back and find the sequence of the next organism. In this case, the chimpanzee, Pan troglodytes. Again, you copy. And again, you paste this in now into the second box. Then you select Perform a Line.
and you examine the data on the percentage identity. Here you see it's a 91.34% match. But in your case, you would be running your analysis as pairs of Pantroglodytes versus Gorilla Gorilla or Pantroglodytes versus Homo neanderthalensis.